guys, welcome to a new video. I'm so excited because the travel vlogs are back. Not only are they back, I'm about to take you guys along with me on an incredible cruise. Also, my first cruise ever. Thank you so much to Princess Cruises for sponsoring this video. Behind us, we have one of the newer ships. This is the Discovery Princess ship. I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for my seven day adventure from Seattle to Alaska and back. Let's go get on board. All right, on my way now to find my room. This is so nice and everyone has been so nice and so helpful. We're in. Oh, hello. And look at this, it's a little fruit basket. Um, I absolutely will be eating some grapes. This is actually very, very comfortable. Oh my gosh, nice desk. This is where I'll be working. Nice bed. Robes, slippies. Now, let's check out the bathroom. This has a very nice bathtub. Have an incredible vanity. Oh, very nice shower. And in here, we've got a nice little private potty with another vanity. Nice. Okay, now let's take a look at the view. Look at this. Is that a little blankie? No way. It is a little rainy today, but oh my gosh, look at this incredible view. Oh. This is so nice. I can't wait to explore the rest of the ship because this is just the beginning. This is literally just the check-in process. Adventuring out for the first time and exploring. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So I've done like a 10% tour of the ship and we actually have not even left yet. We're still at the port. I'm starting to unpack my clothes, but then I realized I was hungry and I wanted to multitask while doing things. So I get into the app and I just order food to the room and everything I ordered was free. It's happening. We're officially moving and we have set sail. Bye Seattle. See you in seven days. I've just been relaxing for the past couple of hours and I got ready, gonna head to dinner soon. I've just been taking in all of these incredible views. Uh, they hooked it up and the first night we're gonna be dining at the Juno Dining Room. I hear it's a very, very fancy and wonderful establishment. So I'm excited for the first dinner on the ship. <laughs> my gosh, what a premium entrance, thank you. I cannot believe the welcome we just had. This place is great. I live I live here on the ship now. Guys, I didn't pack a, a, a rain jacket, so I'm in the gift shop. I think it's gonna be the jacket of the cruise. It's got all these little pockets. It's got a hood. I think it's fine. Tonight's activity, I'm gonna be attending a comedy show in the Princess Theater. Let's go in. The comedy show was absolutely incredible. I'm gonna take a shower, go to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning for day two. Today was like the first full day, but second day at sea, and it was a very, very chill, relaxed day for me. I spent most of the morning and afternoon working, and then I had a spa day, which the Lotus Spa here is one of the most glamorous and one of the best experiences I've ever had at a spa. So I'm feeling nice, relaxed. I also had a chance to check out the gym. The gym on this ship is massive. And it was really cool kind of like running on the treadmill and looking out at the ocean. But now I'm gonna head to dinner, maybe at the casino, and get ready for day three tomorrow, which is excursion day. Day three of the cruise, I woke up and we were docked here in Ketchikan, Alaska. I had breakfast delivered, I hit the gym. One of the things that makes Princess Cruises so unique is their medallion class experience. So when you board, everybody gets a free lanyard, which has a medallion. I went ahead and upgraded to this band. Now what this medallion is, it's your room key, it's your credit card. It actually gives you access to be able to track your other shipmates. And another really cool thing is if you also order food or a drink in the app, the crew can deliver it to you wherever you are. It's also a way in which they can keep track if you are on or off the ship. Okay, let's go explore. There's a lot of different ways in which you can book excursions. You can book them online before your trip. You can actually book them here. There's a lot of nice people to help you out. There's also these really cool screens where you tap your medallion and you can book your excursion on the screen, which is what um, I've actually been doing because I can't plan. <laughs> Get enough of the shit. 
It's a little rainy today, but I am in Alaska, so makes sense. All right, this is gonna be the vehicle that I'm getting in to go on the photo excursion. Let's get inside. Started off by seeing a bald eagle right off the bat, so that was pretty exciting. Had a great time, Ketchum Canada was amazing, beautiful. Saw so many cool things, saw so many cool eagles, and now I'm gonna go see the spa. So I had dinner at the Crown Grill, which is one of the specialty restaurants on board, and it is kind of like a steakhouse, um, but the restaurant I was like, oh, well, like, you're vegetarian? Okay, hold on. And then they brought out a whole, like, vegan vegetarian menu for me, which I didn't even know was an option. It's so nice how considerate and how just kind the staff is here. I have never been treated this well on any vacation or anywhere in my entire life. But that's gonna do it for this day. Tomorrow is day four, and we are gonna be in Juneau, Alaska. But let me give you a little sneak peek of what it looks like outside. It's like 9.15 at night, still light outside but also time for bed. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's day four, and this morning I was woken up by, well, not only the early sunrise, but also these incredible glaciers and these incredible scenes. Not a bad way to wake up. All right, we are now off the ship here in Juneau. Now I did have an excursion planned for the day, Unfortunately, it was canceled because there was unsafe weather conditions. We were going to be going up on a float plane, which would have been so much fun. Better to be safe than sorry. So now I'm just kind of going to walk around, enjoy the city, and see what I can see. I'm now at a gift shop where there are so many cute little things. Now, my suitcase was uh, 62 pounds coming here, and it's probably going to be 72 pounds leaving. What do we think? Do we think I need this? Because I think I might need this. I walked around the town for a little bit, it was so nice, but I got back on the ship because I actually have a lot of work to do, but I also thought that this would be a good time since everybody is off to give you guys kind of a little tour because I haven't fully shown you a lot that the ship has to offer. It's such a nice day that it's actually a day that I would consider getting in the pool, especially with the sun, so it's very empty and very secluded, which means I'm gonna go take advantage of the pizza place that's also open. Like, look at this view. Are you kidding me? There is a little putt-putt course on top of the Discovery Princess. And needless to say, I have been absolutely crushing it. But look how cool this view is. Like, are you kidding me? This is awesome. On to the next adventure. Bye, Juno. You were nice. This is how I was watching it, like this. <laughs> so, on today's adventure, we are actually in Skagway, Alaska, gonna be doing some ATV excursions, some tours. Not really sure what to expect. It's a new day, never been here. Let's go. We just got off the ship, and I realized that I somehow, along this journey, have lost my hat. Now, it's a little windy today. Thankfully, there's like a cute little gift shop right off the ship. So I bought a new hat. Now I'm ready to explore. Just hopped off this boat. Really upset I didn't bring my big camera today because I thought, oh, ATV and like, it's gonna be bumpy. So everything I'm shooting is either on my phone or my small camera or the Insta 360 camera, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. We got the helmet on, it's officially time go for a ride. The ATV tour is pretty cool. There's a lot of very, very nice views. Lots of rocks, lots of water, lots of mountains, lots of mud. But it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice day outside too, so that makes all the difference. On to the next adventure. Hello, welcome to day six. Today was a sea day, which means it was for me an editing day. Now there's plenty of things to do on the ship. 
endless amount of things to do. But for me, I was uh, catching up on work and just relaxing. And as you can see, I'm still in my jammies, got a shower, because tonight is formal night. Let's get ready. And by some miracle, I have on makeup, I have my hair done, and I have on clothes that are not yoga pants. Now it is formal night and I do have a dress, but my interest in putting on a dress does not exist. Um, I do have a little fancy jacket to dress it up a little bit. I'm gonna go enjoy some dinner and who knows where the night's gonna take me. Dinner was great, had an incredible meal, dessert. I have had so much good food on this ship. I don't know how I'm gonna go back to real life cooking for myself. Now, when I came back to my room, I was cordially invited to an event tomorrow, the Blue Cruiser Bash, exclusively for guests sailing on their first princess cruise. Tomorrow morning, we are going to see the cruise director, Duval. You guys know what we're doing first thing in the morning. I will see you there. And good morning. It is day seven and I have made it to the 9 a.m. event for my welcome little party that's happening. And now I need to figure out how to get Duvall to be in my video. There's Duvall, but he's so busy. Where'd he go? Where's Duvall? Better go get him. I got nervous. To say thank you. Now, for those of you that I have yet to meet, my name is Duvall. It's my pleasure to be your cruise director. Hello. This is the second to last dock. We're here in Victoria, Canada, getting off a little bit. It's like 7 38 p.m. Like it's basically bedtime, but I'm gonna do a little walk around, see some of the sights, and then probably get right back on uh, the ship because it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. It's very nice outside though. So, this stop you can either get on a shuttle or you can just walk downtown. There's also apparently horses that will give you a tour. A lot of things happening here. This is very interesting. This is so cute, very windy. A nice little beach, birds. There it is, I'm on my way to get back on the ship. Had a great time walking around, but now it's time to get back on the ship, pack up and, uh, you know, get ready for, for whatever happens next. I got a hot chocolate from the bar and it was so good. This was actually my first hot chocolate on the ship, which I feel like is a crime because I was here for seven days. But I'll see you guys in the morning for day eight, the departure. Back to real life. We have officially docked in Seattle. We're back. Where did you come from? I just had my last breakfast before getting ready to get off the ship. It's really great because they make it so easy for you to get on and off. Like they take your luggage and it's waiting for you either actually at the airport, they will actually check it for you or you can grab it when you're off the ship. So that makes it really easy because I have so much stuff. But everyone was just so nice. This was such an incredible trip. Definitely will not be my last cruise. So as my first cruise, I have to say, Princess has set my expectations very high and I just wanted to say thank you so much to Princess Cruises for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun and I'm really sad to go back to reality, but I will be back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you again soon for a new video.